What's up everybody, my name is Amstrong Gossas and today I'm going to teach you how to make your smudge paintings look awesome like this, from this to this. So stay tuned, don't touch that dial. Okay, so we are in Photoshop CC17 and this is a is an artist his name is Ward. i'm going to get right to business keep the video short the first thing i'm going to be doing is cut that take out his background and i already did that in the so i took out the background already and then you can see him without background i just cut out his beard and everything now the next thing i want to do is when you're smudging it's going to make the whole picture blurry so what you want to do is take out the different components like i'm cutting out his shirts right now I want to cut out the shirt and make it distinct because when you smudge you make the different parts of the of the image blurry so we want to avoid that and i'll be doing that i'll be fast forwarding this video so that you can get everything but if you if you are still confused about how i do that i did everything step by step in my previous video the link is above so you can just watch here it's re relatively long so you can you can just watch that and then get it step by step but i'll be fast forwarding some of the steps to just save time all right so i'll just cut out the body and cut out the necklace and i'll even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 hustle out hustle every single day i'll be making moves till i'm buried in my grave to the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway is a nice thing Okay, so the next thing we want to do is We want to make this picture sharper Because if we are going to be smudging We are going to be making it a little blurry So we want to make it relatively sharp So I'm going to duplicate this Then I'll go to um, Linear light To make um, to bump it up And then I'll go to order I'll go to high pass and from this you can see there are many grains the sharpness has increased drastically so i press ok then i'll merge it and then i'm just going to create duplicate it create a clipping mask and come here create clipping mask on this with the smudge and then with this brush with this brush i would just come to this place and just watch what i'm doing i will zoom in to see what i'm doing and then set set the strength to 30 you can press 3 on your keyboard then you can just gradually smudge now remember when you're smudging you need to go along with the um part of the face the contour of the face you know so don't just i see some people just smudge anyhow it just give you a, a, a fake image that is that doesn't look neat so you just make your brush small first to start with it's only when you're blending colors that you need uh, something relatively big you know so just do something small just smudge it gradually gradually nobody's chasing you so just do your thing right i see people with that smudge still with big cheeks you know this is also a technique on how to make it, how to have a clean image you know for photographers still it, it will come in very handy trust me so i'm gonna fast forward this a little bit so that you would see how I do it. Now, if you notice, I am avoiding the parts of the beard. You know, I'm just avoiding it. I'm not smudging the beard. I'm just smudging over the beard, right? So, I think you need to take that into consideration too smudge outside the beard you know don't don't go smudging the beard because right i'm not designed to be a machine so i think the best way is like to use diffuse or to use oil paint because photoshop has presets that make that makes it easier to understand so i think that's what you should do so let's let's go back to work and fast forward still
Now you just notice that I still follow the parts of the face that I try to preserve the light of the face. For, for example, I'm smudging here on the forehead. I'm just trying to preserve the part of the face. I'm not just going to come like this and smudge it away. No, 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 no. I'm, go I'm going to preserve the part of the face that has light, you know. Just preserve the light because um, still we are trying to make the image realistic. So when we make the image realistic, we preserve light. But remember, I've been doing it with a small brush and I've been at 30. You know, with especially this brush I'm using, it can be at 30. You know, and I, I think it's, it's a custom made brush that just helps you smoothen out what you do and makes it a lot easier and nicer. So, to so just don't don't rush don't rush just do your thing make it gradual you know um for the hair right any place you get to leave out just ends up with so much detail that people think it's the hair if it's not a hair part just leave it out so far for fast forward still now for a place like the lips what you need to do is just follow the symmetry as well all these lines try to preserve them try so much to preserve them but then make make it smooth don't make it um sometimes to save time i just or a pen to this place but then since it's a small tutorial i'm just going to show you how to just preserve all these lines you see what i'm doing i'm preserving the lines i don't want i really don't want it to um, come out a different lips you know the, the mouth is is a very distinctive part of everybody when you get the lips wrongly and you get the eyes wrongly that person is pretty much a, diff a different person altogether so i think what you want to do is just preserve the, the lips and preserve the eyes you know ev everything is is distinct in the human body but you want to do it and so you can see how i've just done it so when you are at this stage you can see the previous you can see now there's a whole lot of difference now you can use this kind of image for your art as a retouching technique you know just but then when you get to this point you notice that um, for art it's not so bad but then for those that use it for photography it's a little weird so what you're going to do is make it make the softness 20 the strength 20 and just you know when it's softer you can just block out all these places you know to blend the whole colors together you can just do that but remember you are preserving the detail of the light preserving the eyes you know don't go around using big brushes and smudging it away <laughs> don't do that it's wrong it's just use a soft brush you know to blend the whole colors together i'll take it i'll take the hardness back to 30 now because we're able to cut out the different part of the body of the shirt it make it easier the, the different parts of the body would not interfere intertwine they will not make a blurry image it's it's my video my right so i think you should check that out if you have many questions to ask or oh, you need the tiniest details now for the shirt i'm still going to smudge it i'm just going to take away most of these details but i'm just going to show you how i do that so let's start First of all, just smudge it um, to be like a shirt, a plain shirt, because we cannot smudge this and leave the detail. So I'm just smudging it gradually. It's at 30. So I'm just going to fast forward to show you how I do that here. Now I think the, the people that really need this type I'm doing what I'm doing right now is the artist, the smudge artist, those that the smudge by the way, smudge is just what I'm doing. This this paint brush. It's not like there's any different thing like smudge. It's actually fun, but you can get to learn a lot from it. So
Okay, so this was all it got. From this to this, it's just simple um, smudge painting. The next thing I want to do is I just want to add um, a shirt to him. So I'm just going to pick up this, take it to this. I want to add a shirt to him to make him look alive because this shirt looks dead. <laughs> it looks it looks weird too. So I'm just going to pick this and clip it here. So this is what I talked about the clipping mask, and then go to over no i can't go, no overlay wouldn't do this so i'll go to soft light and it gives me that soft but then if i increase the image too much you notice that the picture comes out blurry so i'm just going to preserve the little details since the picture is small and then i would i just keep keep clipping it as i do this yes so i can just merge all this all of this then take the duplicated one here uh, when i clip it you can see what has come out but then you see it's not popping up the image is somehow so I can just take down the brightness so the contrast comes out even more. I can just take it down here, increase the contrast a little bit, maybe touch up the brightness a little bit, and then with the highlights, highlight, I can just highlight this here, highlight this, highlight this. The bone, I can just bond this place, just bond it, make it look like a proper picture. Yes, so this this is what we have now this is what we'll, this is what we have now is what we had before so i think this it looks this looks nice so before now before now you can you can prefer the other one but then since this is what you created i think you can still tweak it to what you want and then get a better picture of it so thank you very much i'm just going to release another video of how to make the face pop up and make it an art form this stage i hope you learned something so if you if you did just like smash the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video bye bye